Understanding benefits of any sort can be difficult, but for members of the military, there are some special things that you don't want to miss in all that paperwork. There are benefits that can sometimes go overlooked, leaving little for survivors of service members. Ted on your side's Chris Horn joins us with more on this fine print. Chris? Lena, to see financial planner John Mason talk about the military survivor benefit, you might think you're in a casino. He says he doesn't want to see military families leaving money on the table. How many of these chips would you like to keep? When financial planner John Mason of Newport News talks about the military survivor benefit program, he likes to use poker chips. He's afraid too many retirees gamble away important benefits that would otherwise go to their surviving spouses. When you decline survivor benefits on your military pension, you unknowingly decline survivor benefits on three income streams. Military pensions can vary on a wide range. Mason uses $100,000 as a round figure with a hypothetical VA benefit worth $20,000. If you decline the survivor benefit, here's what happens to your spouse after you die. The 100,000 goes away, the 20,000 goes away, and the rules with Social Security, you get to keep the higher of the two. The annual cost is 6.5% of the pension pre-tax. So maybe take one chip off the top. And for that one chip, we can protect 55% of the stack. But this year, for a limited time, Retirees get a mulligan, a second chance if they've already declined the benefit. President Biden called for what's known as open season, kind of like open enrollment in the HR world. It runs out, though, at the end of this year. And the last opportunity like this was 18 years ago. If you declined it at retirement, you can sign up for it now. Okay. If you took it at retirement, you could drop it now. And for most military retirees? You're probably not going to see this open season ever again in your lifetime. Mason says while the clock is ticking on open season that ends in December, Congress has yet to come up with the rules for people to opt in if they had decided earlier to opt out on the survivor benefit. In the meantime, Mason says he wants to get survivor benefits on the radar of the thousands of military retirees in Hampton Roads and recommends they seek professional financial advice. And we have more on the military survivor benefit at wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.